that's going to be up to President Zelensky. He gets to determine if and when he's ready to sit down and, and negotiate. Uh, right now, his country's still under attack. He still has tens of thousands of Russian troops on his soil dug in uh, deeply, entrenched, protected by minefields on ground that doesn't belong to them. Um, and he has every right uh, to want to reclaim his territorial integrity and, uh, and, and his uh, country's sovereign now. He's put forward a 10-point peace formula that we are working with, uh, with him uh, and his government to help actualize because we believe that for any diplomacy to work, it's got to it's got to start. The foundation has to be President Zelensky's view of what a just peace looks like. Have you ever seen a person struggle so hard with saying something? Poor guy's job is to lie and put spin on things. I don't know what the uh, military regulations are. I guess technically he's a civilian now. He receives his pension from being an admiral, but I don't know how he can get away with that. But what the hell is he talking about? What 10-point proposal? Oh, Russians go home and then we'll talk to you about our 10-point proposal? Oh, it's even more ridiculous than that. The Zelensky government is saying that not only must Russia be evicted from the four territories that they annexed or took control of after the referendums in, uh, in the fall of last year, uh, Zaporizhia, Kherson, Donetsk, and Lugansk, but they also have to get out of Crimea. And then uh, they must pay reparations that Russia is going to pay Ukraine and Russia is going to uh, rebuild Ukraine and that uh, Russian leadership must be held accountable for allegations of war crimes before the International Criminal Those Court. Guys, these are not serious no. negotiating points for a settlement or a ceasefire. Absolutely and, not. And what Kirby's not saying is the United States is telling Zelensky just that. that. Basically, what we're telling Zelensky is, if you haven't prevailed, we gave you everything you wanted. Remember, Z General Zeluzhny, last December, said straight up, I need 300 tanks, 500 fighting vehicles, 500 artillery pieces, ammunition, and I will be able to carry out an offensive that allows us to advance 84 kilometers to the city of Melitopol, cut off the land bridge between Russia and Crimea, and begin to bring Crimea under effective fire, and the Russians will sue for peace at that point in time. But I can't do it without this equipment. Well, we gave them the equipment, we trained them, and now they're getting slaughtered. They can't even reach the first line of defense, let alone drive to Melitopol. So the, the counteroffensive is done, and the United States is telling Ukraine, it's over. So now you have to modify your position, pal. 